creator. That's right. And host and architect and visionary. That's right. Behind Band Splain. The Band Splain podcast. How are you, Yasi? I'm doing great, Tom. You good? I slept a lot. You did? Like I, a full eight and a half hours. Of course. No, I look, you post these things on Instagram, your sleep chart, and I'm just like, that's right. Who's sleeping like this? I am, babe. You are. I'm not. First of all, I just want to say I really appreciate you having me here on a video podcast because mm-hmm. I've long been imprisoned behind audio. Mm-hmm. And I don't think enough people know that I'm hot. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You want to you want people to to see what you're bringing the table. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Hold on one second. I'm really glad I can't see what the Twitch people are saying. No, no. Look, <laughs> I'll, I'll, look. You, you, I'll read that. I'll read it aloud for you, babe. <laughs> Hold on. I'm just. I'm trying to run everything here. I mean, you're truly the visionary. You're the thank Svengali. You. Now, thank you, thank you, Yasi. Now, Yasi, tell me. Yeah. Bandsplain, where where where'd that come from? What you you? Because you're a huge music fan, obviously. That's right. And you got the goods. You know how to you you walk the walk. You talk the talk. Yeah. What's the first? Played. What's the first show you saw? The first music. What's the first concert on your own volition that you went? Okay, to? yeah, because the first like yeah. I think concert I saw was like Ricky Martin or something with my family, and that was sure. not my own volition. Um, okay, I'll tell you what it was, Tom. The year is 1995. Okay, I convinced my father, shout out Rob Salek, to take me to the K Rock Weenie Roast, mm-hmm. which took place at uh formerly Irvine Meadows, now known as the Verizon Wireless Amphitheater. Okay. And uh, my dad fell asleep from the secondhand uh, grass smoke mm-hmm. while Rage Against the Machine played, and there okay. was literal bonfires, like, within feet of us. Okay. But it was great. Bush, Hole, no doubt. Like, mm-hmm. fantastic lineup. Yeah. No, that's a good lineup. Bush. Well, I I'm... led with Bush, which is a little weird, I sure. think. Sure. Well, yeah. you're getting it over with. You're saying. <laughs> you know, they have... They have some fucking bangers, babe. No, are we allowed? Is this a family friendly? We, I, 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 I don't. Okay. You can. I keep. <laughs> I apologize. Between. I run a tight <laughs> ship for myself. Okay. <laughs> but this is a different episode. This is a different style show now. We're all things of go. Whatever you bring, happens. You bring your foul mouthed, Ex- uh, annoying look. podcasters on. No, to look, sully the <laughs> to sully the the pristine reputation of the best show. So that was your first show. That's right. Hole. I'm gonna put hole before bush. Yeah, let's put hole before bush. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's what she said. <laughs> that's it. That's it. I'm so sorry. I can't stop no, now. Sullying no. the show. <laughs> I know. Look, it's fine. I'm gonna make sure we, we're gonna make sure we got video going here. How about that? Because oh right, are, I went. Are. I did the whole thing. Yeah. I gave you the whole spiel. I put on mascara. Can we put the show on video, please? How dare? <laughs> I'm making sure we've well, been, no, we we've been on, on, video. We're on video. We're on video. I okay. just didn't. Uh, I didn't update the Thank you. Uh, browser. Thank you, so. producer, voice of God. That's Brett, our producer. Thank you, Brett. Um, so bands. So so you loved music. Yeah. What was the first band that was like your band that was like, oh my goodness, this is all mine, and no, no, my family don't get this. Nobody gets it. Yeah, hard to say. I mean, I I think I was definitely radicalized to hard rock and roll music by the okay. Red Hot Chili Peppers, which I know sure. that you're a huge fan of. Uh huh. Sure. That band. Um, when I heard "Give It Away," because mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, I was like nine. I was like, okay. What the fuck is this is amazing. Yeah. Um, but probably um in a completely cliche way because I was born in 1982. Nirvana. Okay. Was like my first, like, this is my. Th- this yeah. is my thing. Me yeah. and everybody else sure. in the entire yeah. world. But you know, like, when you're 12, you're oh, like, no, of course, you're not being is, like, yeah, like, yeah. I'm angry. And this yeah. person is also so angry. Yeah, you're just like we're both angry, we're both angry together. Yeah, and he's angry, and and he made this music angry. just for me. But then yeah. I quickly like switched right over to Hole once I heard mm-hmm. Hole. I was like, oh, she's angry like more the way I am angry. Yeah, yeah. Now she, uh, look. I, you can make a case that Hole were better than Nirvana. I could make that case. You could make that case. Yeah, I, I just like I don't think that's I don't think that's a faulty uh, thing to say at all. I it's think it's at least a tie. She's an absolute genius. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You're not gonna You're not gonna get any argument from me on that. <laughs> so now, Bandsplain. That's right. You do these shows. I do. And you talk for three, four hours. Sometimes five. Sometimes yeah. five. Where you go. 
through the catalog, up, down, deep, you're making sure you get everything out on the table. Yeah, it's rough. Yeah. And usually you, I, I listen to it and I'm just like, I get intimidated when I listen to it because I, I think I'm just like, I'm st- smart about things in a certain way, but not in this way necessarily. Well, I don't know if that's intelligence. That's just like an 80 page Google Doc. Yeah, but it also <laughs> takes a certain amount of uh, of awareness to be able to discuss things in yeah. co- in the context of the music to yeah. put together the yeah. So yeah, it takes a certain amount of wherewithal to get past the point in an artist catalog where you're like, "Fuck, mm-hmm. everything went south here." You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. And you just have to like mm-hmm. power through the later yeah. career albums and be yeah. like, "Oh, we have." You want this band? We mm-hmm. have this band at home. Yeah. Like that's like mm-hmm. the later career albums are like sure. we have this band at home, but it's mm-hmm. like not really what you want to hear. What do you think the uh, wh- who like who is who's had like severe drop offs that you've had to just on an episode of the show just kind of be like, boo, boo, we're just going and this is just bad and it does Weezer, stop. babe. Yeah, Weezer, Weezer, yeah, two two good albums, mm-hmm. twelve to thirteen other albums. <laughs> I guess so. And not to upset the Weezer loving mm-hmm. best show community. Sure. No, we don't want uh, him being mad <laughs> about this. Rivers, if you're yes. listening, babe, yeah. I no, want you he, to keep going. He, uh, look, yeah, Weezer, uh, sometimes I'm just like, why are they still doing this? Yeah, but we talk about that a lot on the show. It's like, that's your God given right as an artist. Like, oh, I would never take it away. Yeah, keep going. It doesn't have to be good. I'll be podcasting from the grave. No one's going to be listening. Look, people think I'm terrible now. <laughs> people think this show's washed up. And Is that I, what they're saying on Twitch? That's what everybody's saying. <laughs> everybody's saying, it's over. Give it up. Stop Hang trying. Hang it up, Tom, babe. No, I'm just saying, I'm saying, but it's like, that's a, that's the, the, that's the right of a fan to say. Sure. Yeah, I'm not into it anymore. Right. But the artist can keep There's people who wish Bob Dylan died on that motorcycle because <laughs> then he would have left behind the perfect body of work and it would have been the perfect story. Like, yeah. he made blonde on blonde and then he went over the handlebars on his Everybody motorcycle. Everybody becomes embarrassing. Mm-hmm. That is the the universe curves toward mm-hmm. embarrassing. If Kurt Cobain was alive, that mm-hmm. man would have been wearing leather wristbands, Could you fucking imagine DJing at a Coachella after party. It would have been so bad. With like a 19-year-old girlfriend. Mm-hmm. You know, like, yeah. it's just like what happens. No, he would have, the level of bad that he would have become, yikes. The outfits. Like I can't, yeah. I shudder to think of what he would be yeah. wearing right now. Maybe he, one of those like long t-shirts, like a Rick mm-hmm. a Rick Owens vibe. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, not really. Okay. No, <laughs> <laughs> I wear the clothes my mom picks up. So I don't know. He um he would have been so bad and then they would have been hey Nirvana's back together and then it would have been just like him maybe Chris in the band definitely not Dave Grohl no, in the band. No. But it would have been one of those deals sure. where you're just kind of like you're kind of like yeah is that, I guess that's well look Nirvana had 18 drummers anyway. So yeah, they'll they can find an old yeah. one to Chan- fill in. Channing, Jason Everman. <laughs> I saw Nirvana at uh, Maxwell's in Hoboken. No flex. <laughs> and they played. Well, it's not. No, it's not. It just means I'm older than you. That's all it means. But I um, and they played with Tad yeah. that night. Shout out Tad. And Tad Gorgeous was better band. than Nirvana. Well, that's the <laughs> truth. Tad was much better than Nirvana that night. They were a good live band. Yeah. They were and Nirvana was fun and I loved Nirvana, but I loved uh, Bleach. Sure, I love that one single. Holy, I liked Love Buzz single and then the one after that with uh, Sliver. Sliver is such a fucking that's good their song. best. That's the high point of Nirvana right there. It's all downhill after that. I'm like kind of an incesticide stand, not to be that okay, guy. Good sure. songs on there. Oh, no, I got you. Of course yeah. there is. There's good songs on all. Like, but again, I was my 12 year old. Yeah. Mind was sort of unformed and not sure. really maybe yeah. making the best decision. But after that, I always think of the story where you hear like like Uncle Tupelo was driving around and then somebody, they got like an advanced cassette of Nevermind. And then they were just like, this sounds like Foreigner. And they <laughs> threw the tape out the window. I wonder, I was wondering how long it would take us to get to Wilco. And it was sooner than I imagined. Mm-hmm. Somebody's asking, 
when is Tom going to be on Bandsplain? What band will he chat about? Well, soon enough, babe. And what band will he chat about? That's about, that's up to Tom. It's between Tom and God. I want to talk about. Can I say a band? Yeah, of course. Hmm. Yeah, somebody's saying Dinosaur Jr. No, I'm all, uh, no. You're all set on that. You're all set, Chief. <laughs> Grateful Dead, no. No, I think you've inspired me, though, with this um, insane activity that you're doing, mm -hmm. that maybe for the Grateful Dead, we will do some sort of like 15-hour sure. uh, telethon okay. type recording, because I don't mm -hmm. think it's possible to do the Grateful Dead in like no. a normal episode. No, not if, you have to, not if you're going to play music. Yes, exactly. Well, yeah. Um, yeah, I would like to do... Uh, No, I'm looking at some of these suggestions. Are, are there any good ones? Fish? No, I'm not going to do We already fish. did fish, babe, first of Crosby, all. Crosby, <laughs> Stills, Nash, and Young. No, I just did an 18 episodes of a show called So Far where we went through the entire catalog of Crosby, Stills, you already Nash, did. and Young. You already did, did the band's We did that already. Yeah. No, but we did that. It was not the band's playing thing. It was just <laughs> us going through a catalog review um, and torturing ourselves mm -hmm. with it because mm -hmm. it was not... It was an exercise in, in yeah. In, I wouldn't in, allow in for it. I wouldn't allow for it. Um, yeah. Let's do uh, King Crimson. How All about right. that? Yeah, that'd be fun, right? For you, I think it definitely would be. It wouldn't be fun for you. <laughs> All, the, every episode is fun for me. Yeah, Tom. Okay, good. I love prog rock. Good. I <laughs> love prog. I love prog rock too, to a point. Have you ever done Cheap Trick? Not yet. That'd be a good one. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do it though. I can do King Crimson. Yeah, you can. Yeah. What is it, like 13, 15 albums? We'll have a good time. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> Strap in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll get ready. I'll get some of this uh, brew that uh, John Gabris dropped off, this rocket fuel coffee, which is going to, I'm going to pay a price. I like that you're them. afraid of kombucha, but not of whatever's in that cup that you're drinking out of, the rocket fuel coffee. Well, sometimes kombucha tastes so vinegary, and I just I can't love handle. it. Sometimes I, I drink vinegar just in water. Is that disgusting to you? No, no, that's a, it's very healthy. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Well, yeah. Let me figure out. I got. I'm. I'm so behind. Yasi, are you okay sitting? Yeah. While I take a call. Of course. Um, let me just type something. I love to sit. My... Um. Yeah, let's see what's up here. Um, I think we have a guest coming on that I owe a call to who's been trying to get through. And I've been, because I had to take a break at one point. I hit a wall and I had to. Yeah, I saw you I were napping to, and I checked out the I checked out the screen and I was like, oh, here, who are these three white men? Mm -hmm. But I, you know, I was waiting for you to come back. Look. You're only human. I'm only human, just like Billy Joel said. <laughs> Let me find this. Here we go. Bing bong, ding. Dong. Is this uh, is this muted call ready? Let's just do it to it. Hello, best show. Hello. Hello. Is this Marina? Hi. Marina Franklin no. Howard. No, it's not. No. Who is this? It's someone you both know. Oh, someone we both know? Oh, I know who this is. This is Al Pacino Rizzo. <laughs> oh, my God. Al Pacino's, yeah, babe. You're here. This is Albertina Rizzo. I wanted to get you. Hi. How are you, Albertina? How's it going, guys? Good. It's going good. I'm sitting here I with. I said I would call. You did, and you did. I knew you'd call. I, I believed. And here you are. Well, I was, well, it's a hard, like, there's been so many heavy hitters. It's hard, you know, and I'm just, you know, just a clown out here. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know if it was time, but then I saw two people I know in the same place. And I was like, well, now's the time. Yeah, no, this is exciting because we all had a fun uh, time. We saw Steve Martin and Martin Short at the Hollywood Bowl, thanks to you, Albertina. That's cool. Now, for people who don't, the people That's who are right. like, I want to say Albertina Rizzo is a very funny, very talented writer. Also hot. 
also hot. Important to note. Sure. And Albertina, (laughs) you just got nominated for Uh a big fancy award, didn't you? Mm, I mean, not really. I mean, it's not one. Sure. And it's not one that, that is like. Televised. It's like not part of the EGOTs. I think, is it part of the EGOTs? Yeah, I, I don't think it's part of an EGOT. It's part of like a separate underground thing. But it was very nice. Yeah, it was very surprising and nice. No, it's exciting. You're you're a great it's more writer. of a critic thing. Yes, and the mo- you. you wrote for one of my favorite shows. If not my favorite show of this year is I love that for you, and you wrote on that show, and it's so good, and everybody should see it. Because Vanessa Bayer is the best, Correct. and you you just you killed it. Thank you, Tom. That's very nice of you to say. Yeah, Vanessa is the best, and the whole cast is amazing. And that show is just really, really funny. If you haven't seen it, and you, you wrote should, an yeah. incredible David Matthews band joke into the show, mm-hmm. which absolutely. elevated you in my mind. Yes, absolutely. Next level. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, Truly, yes. I give and give. <laughs> you do give. You give and you give and you give. And we take and take and take. You're the best, Albertina. Well, I'm very I'm very glad that 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 it's it's like I feel like this moment, this like moment of you two in the same place, I feel like it would have happened eventually. Mm-hmm. But I, I had a small part in that. You facilitated so I feel it. Very, um, a huge part. Yes. Then. You made it you you yeah. you made it happen. Albertina bringing it's, people it's all, together. That's all I need. You're bringing people together. It's very awesome. Thank you so much. Tom, you? That's the best thing I've heard all day. And how are you doing? You're 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 out and about. You're on assignment, as we say. Yes, I'm on set for a prize for a movie in North Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina. Mm-hmm. And um yeah, it's very hot here. Um and it's been fun and um I definitely like uh wanting to explore more. I might try to go to Dollywood or something. Oh, that'd be amazing. Um we'll see. We'll see what happens. That would be so cool. Yeah. And you're super cool, Albertina Rizzo. And thank you so much. I I got to take another call. I'm so behind, and I got to get stuff done before oh, eleven. Please. If I don't get it done before eleven, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Please do. I just wanted to say hi. I said I was going to call, and I'd like to keep my promises. Of course. No. And you... I'm so happy that you're you're doing great. By the way, you thank seem you. Thank lucid you so much. and. <laughs> And you seem doing real good, and the show has been really, really great. Oh, amazing! Oh. Thank you so much, Albertine. You're the best, and I will see you very soon. 